Hi guys, I'm Ryan Cruzy from Cruzy Originals and today I've got a public service announcement. It's all about wearing boots and jeans while you ride a motorcycle and why I fucking don't do it. Here we go. I posted a video about uh, wrecking the House of Harley M8 bagger sitting right over here and little to my knowledge wrecking that lightly with a new bagger really does some damage. <laughs> the, the bike's fairly, fairly, fairly twisted up. But that being said, I, I that video got a shitload of views. It got 30,000 views its first day. That's pretty big for us. And I got a lot of comments, hundreds and stuff like that. I got a lot of comments and I got a lot of messages to me personally. People like upset or scolding me, some just concerned, some looking out, some is pumped. Not really negative, but just kind of telling me that I should be wearing boots and jeans and riding gear Why I do that. Which, fine, fair enough, that's what people that don't do this shit think. Because you don't know what it takes to do this, you don't know what it involves to do that kind of thing on a motorcycle. You don't know how to stunt ride, you don't know how to drift, you don't know how to do any of that stuff. And you're going to tell me what kind of gear I should wear to do that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna to explain to you why I don't wear boots, which I'm wearing boots right now because I wear work boots at work. Not I'm a Harley Davidson. I'm a Harley Davidson. I wear appropriate riding shoes. We all wear shoes, either Vans. I got Nikes I've been riding in because I do not support Nike. Do not think I do in any way, shape or form. I got them at Ross Dress for us for 25 bucks. A pair of shoes last about 15 minutes at the lot. So I'm, these are $300 boots. So I'm going to go out and slide these around the lot and burn the sole up in 15 minutes. No, I'm not going to. I'm also not going to ride a wheelie on these because I like my back. I like this. I like to be able to stand up like this. See how I'm standing and I'm walking? This, mo this motion right here? It's because my fucking back isn't broken from wearing boots and not being able to feel the rear brake when I'm riding a wheelie. You have to have brake control. Brake control is so precise. It is everything. And I'm talking the most might minute minuscule one hundred thousandths of an ounce of pressure on the brake you got to feel every goddamn bit of it with this on with boots on you can't feel shit the only thing you can feel is the back slapping your ground when you eat shit because you ain't got the brake dialed in that always comes from a guy that has never rode a wheelie in his life you should be wearing boots eat shit so if you're wearing tennis shoes those shoes are going to disintegrate or fly right off your feet. So now we're going to do a little boot comparison on realistic myth of how much safer boots are. Ankle protection, right? Okay. Ankles broke. Ankles broke. Ankles broke. Ankles fucking broke. It's broke all over the place. Doesn't matter. Boots are breaking my ankle. Let's get in on your van side top, sir, Jake. Do a little pull up. Same exact ankle support, which, yeah, I could buy higher boots, but what's that going to do? Shin support me more? No, it's the same thing. Leather, 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 ankle support, ankle support, the exact same shit. I've got one thing to add to this. What? To the boot thing. Our mechanic, Dave, he wears fucking military combat, fully steel toe fucking Car carbon, boots. Carbon toed boots. Full, like the full, most protective boot you could wear. When he wrecked, he broke every fucking toe on his foot and his foot. Yeah. Still wearing boots. Every bone in his foot destroyed. Boots. boots. There's also the fact that I've probably spent more, more miles sliding on my ass down asphalt than most people have ridden a motorcycle. Jeans. Let's get back to the jeans. Did I leave off on the boots, the ankle support, the vans, everything like that? It's pretty dialed. I mean, basketball players wear high tops so they don't break their ankles it's called breaking somebody's ankles when you move too fast and they break an ankle but they wear high tops they don't wear boots football players wear high tops on the line so they don't break their fucking ankles they don't wear boots motocross guys wear boots they're shredding motorcycles yes they are they're shredding motorcycles in a completely different way no rear brake really no foot control action at all except for shifting and just jamming down on the brake from time to time Road race guys, wear boots also. No rear brake. Well, I use the rear brake when I road race. You're not very fast. <laughs> That's really what that boils down to. It's about brake control and being able to feel the foot controls. Your feet are everything when it comes to stunt riding. When it comes to really shredding a motorcycle, you should be in high top vans. Vans don't last for shit, but <laughs> high top vans. Now jeans, pants. 
you should be wearing pants. Okay, here's the difference between me sliding down the road in shorts and pants. I still have road rash, but I have jeans melted into my road rash. Which one would you rather have? I think I'd rather have just the road rash than the jeans melted into my road rash. Just a thought, you know. I do have a lot of experience in actually wrecking and going down. Not just the, well, when I had my accident, I had to lay her down. Somebody pulled out in front of me at least a mile up the road. I panicked, jacked the back brakes, and I had to lay her down, brother. Thank God I had fucking jeans on. You can still see where they melted into my flesh back here. It's fucking awesome. Nah, dude. I wore shorts. I was wearing shorts when I wrecked. You know what I hurt? My knees and my legs because they got tied up in the bike. Look at this road rash I got with no pants on. None. Yeah, there's none. Not a bit. Not, not any at all because when do you land on your shins? Maybe a BMX bike, catch a pedal to the shins or something. Got a little road rash on my elbow. Okay, I'll take those, uh, I'll take those. Right there. What it boils down to, it's preference. Yeah. If you're just Joe Schmo riding your Harley Davidson down to the bar to show off your new fucking chrome studded saddlebags you bought from your JMP cycle catalog, and you put your fucking boots on, and you put your vest and your whole entire costume. But when you live it every single day of your life and you just get on your motorcycle with whatever I just went out to dinner with my old lady on. Me and my old lady just went to dinner. I'm going to go ride my bike. Guess what? More of the same shit I just wore to dinner. And I'm going to shred. It's just a different scenario. Before you go telling somebody what they should be doing differently with how they're doing things in their life, maybe assess if you have the means to tell them how to do that or if you have the experience or if you know fucking shit about stunt riding. No, you don't. Anyways, sorry to be offensive and get all up in arms, but there's things that just irritate the fuck out of me, and I feel like I need to tell somebody about it. And one is boots and jeans. Fuck you and your costume. I don't care. Here's the scenario where it all boiled down to. I used to work for Jim Nasty Customs, big time like we were the Ferrari of the custom motorcycle world is how it was we were sold. But I was pulling out lunchtime. This was when I didn't own a car. I just had a motorcycle for everything that was it i lived on a bike for five years straight lunchtime i get on my bike i got cut off dickies on some vans a t-shirt full face helmet gloves i'm backing out this dildo pulls in on a street glide with his big ass goofy boots on his fucking skull cap bullshit helmet shirt tucked in and walks up to me he goes how in the fuck does somebody ride a harley davidson in vans and shorts what the hell's wrong with you I just looked at him, I go, a real motherfucker that rides every day, dildo. Nice helmet. You're going to talk shit to me because I don't wear boots while you're not wearing a helmet, but you've got your boots on. Moron. Fuck. I'm going to get out of here before I piss any more people off. But on that note, fuck your boots and jeans. I'm wearing fucking shorts and shoes all day long. It's also 100 degrees out here already. Come out here and ride with some goddamn jeans on this summer. Let's have a little competition. Who lasts the longest? I'm Cruzy. No, I'm Ryan Cruzy. And this is Cruzy Originals. And we are talking a bunch of shit. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Facebook's lame. CruzyOriginals.com. Always new videos every Thursday. We love you. And I still wear boots at work, so I don't want to piss off my boot sponsors. But thank you.